A big thank you to InstaWP for sponsoring this video. InstaWP is a great way to create, test, and deploy WordPress websites in just one click. Today I'm going to show you the most beautiful card layout design I've ever seen. And I've chosen this design for two reasons. One, it's incredibly beautiful with these fantastic curves that go around it. So I'm gonna show you how you do that, just using core blocks, no CSS. And the second reason is it's gonna show you how to use the group block, the road block, and also the stack blocks, which in my experience are the three blocks that give people the most confusion. So I'm gonna explain what they are, how you can use them on your own sites. This is how you build it on your own sites. For reference, I've got the original design, but I'm gonna start by adding the columns block and selecting 60, 33 proportions. Then I'm gonna make it wide width. Next up, I'm gonna set the background color to the entire columns block as black. And I'm also gonna add a little radius to it as well. You can see down in the bottom right, and I'm adding a radius of 36. Then I'm gonna select the first column. I'm gonna put the stack block inside the first column. And now I'm gonna make the background color to that stack block white. And secondly, I'm gonna add a little radius to that as well. You can see I've got some padding around it, so I'm gonna select the top level columns block, and I'm gonna remove any padding to the top and the bottom of that, and also to the left and the right. And that gives me the base layout design that I want. Next up, I'm gonna select that stack block, and I'm gonna set a minimum height. Now I'm gonna add some content. So I'm gonna start by adding a row block to the top. And in the first section of the row block, I'm actually gonna use a social icon, which is the WordPress social icon. You could obviously upload an image here if you want to do all your own icons. And then next to that, I'm going to add a paragraph block. And then finally, I'm going to make them bold. Then I'm going to select the stack block and I'm going to give it some padding to the top and the bottom and the left and the right, just to give it some room to breathe. And I'm going to select the row block again, and I'm going to add some block spacing to it or remove some block spacing. So my logo is a bit tighter to my paragraph block. Now I'm gonna select the row block and click add after. And then I'm simply gonna paste my lorem ipsum text in there. Next up, I multi-select the row block and the paragraph block and group them. And then I select add after. And then I'm gonna select the stack block. And then with my toolbar, I'm gonna to select that icon and choose space between. So at this point, I just want to explain the difference between the group block, the row block, and the stack block. These are super useful for layouts. We'll start with the group block. If you add a group block into your page, it's essentially just a container. In CSS terms, it just adds a div to your page. If you add a row or a stack block though, or you convert a group block into a stack, into a stack or a row block, it actually converts them to use Flexbox, which gives you some extra skills. One of the key things it lets you do, I've selected my stack here, it gives you this extra option, which is space between. So it'll put the elements you put in that container to the top and the bottom. Stack blocks work vertically. Row blocks work horizontally. They are both in CSS terms, though, using the Flexbox attributes of CSS. So to achieve this left-hand layer over here, what I've done, I've added the columns block, and then in the left-hand column, I've added a stack block, which will go vertically. And you can see over on the right, I can change its orientation. Now within that stack, I've got two groups. The top group here, which is the top position one, and the bottom one here. And it's doing that because when I select the stack block, I've got this space between option selected right here. And within this stack block, I've actually got two group blocks. This top group here, which is this whole section here, and then this bottom section down here, I've grouped them because within each group, I've got further blocks. Within this first group, I've got this row block. I can open that up and I've got social icons and a paragraph, which is those two there. Underneath that, I've just got a paragraph block, but that is one group, that one container. And then in the bottom group down here, I've simply got a paragraph block. And then to finish off, I just need to add some content in the right-hand column. I'm gonna start by adding the paragraph block and changing the size. Now I just need to add a little bit of padding around it. So I'm quickly just gonna group it. 
Then I'm going to convert it into a vertical stack block. And then I'm going to add the paragraph block underneath and write my text. And because that paragraph block is in the same group, I can use the block spacing to scrunch the text together. And then I'm just going to add some padding to that group block. And then to finish off the card layout, I'm going to add the buttons block beneath it. And here is the finished design. I think it's an absolute thing of beauty. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And the fact it's all done just with core Gutenberg blocks, WordPress blocks, and no CSS at all, I think is kind of miraculous. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to get hold of this design, I've set you a one-click website where you can actually just go and grab it because I've created it as a block pattern for you. Click on that link. It'll take you straight to the page where this pattern is. You can just copy it and use it on your own sites. I hope you found that interesting and useful. If you did, if you can hit the like button down below, it would be amazing because it makes a huge, 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 huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. It really, really does. So if you can hit that like button, it'd be fantastic. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.